Welcome back, guys. Uh, today I'm taking a look, another look, actually, at seduction. That's S-I-D-U-C-T-I-O-N. It's a Debian distribution based on testing and unstable. I've been running it now for, I guess, about a month. And uh, I'm really happy with it. Uh, as far as Debian goes, uh, in my opinion, you can't do much better than this. Now, let me show you. They have made some changes as of this month. And I just want to go through a couple things with you because I think they're pretty interesting. So let's take a look at the, at the website. Now, if you go to the uh, main page on the website, um, they explain that uh, after long discussions that go back as far as two years, we have finally made the decision to ship with Contrib and non-free enabled, and most of the non-free firm firmware pre-installed to enable the user to use his Wi-Fi chip or graphics card right from the start without the need to acquire software and without being able to have an internet connection on the device you are installing on. Now that's that's uh, extremely helpful because normally when you install Debian if you don't have a uh, an internet connection then uh, in some cases, especially with the Broadcom drivers, you're not able to install the Broadcom and then after you, I mean it's kind of a catch-22, you, you don't have Wi-Fi because you have Broadcom and you're not able to download Broadcom because you don't have Wi-Fi. So in this case, they provide the drivers for all of the non-free um, devices out of the box and this includes AMD graphics cards so if you take a look at the non-free packages that are installed you can see that the AMD 64 microcode firmware and graphics uh, for AMD ATI graphics chips um, and all of this all of these uh, non-free um, drivers and uh, software is installed is part of the installation process without the need for a an internet connection the contra packages are drivers for your broadcom uh, x11 guest utilities non-guest so you can see that they have put a lot of work into it. Now the disclaimer says you need to be aware that this new behavior is not in accordance with the Debian free software guide. We offer an opt-out from this to go back to a DFSG compliant installation in the installer. So as you install there will be an option to not download all of the contrib and non-free firmware and device drivers. Uh, so I think that as Debian distributions go, they're somewhat unique. Now, there's a, there's a uh, flavor here for pretty much everybody. Um, Plasma 5, KDE Next, Plasma Dash LXQT, GNOME and of course uh, the other desktop environments had already been released so if you look at the downloads they have mirrors it, the the developers are based in Germany but they have de they have mirror download mirrors pretty much everywhere so if you look in North America there is University of Delaware, Georgia Tech, Licorix in Virginia, there are, there's a uh, mirror in South America, 
So they've got pretty much all the bases covered. Now, if you take a look at um, the University of Delaware and just click on the mirror, uh, the newest version is painted black, but they do have the option for the old uh, version, Indian Summer. Haven't taken a look at that because I'm only interested in the newest version. So if you click on paint it black, you can see that cinnamon, gnome, KDE, LXDE, LXQT, mate, or mate, depending on how you pronounce it, uh, Knox, XFCE, XORG. Now, I downloaded the XFCE. Um, I actually went ahead and before the LXDE was available, I added the LXDE desktop by just installing it at the command line. But you can download any one of these. So if you if you click on XFCE, for example, it's going to bring up the 32-bit uh, and the 64-bit. And then once you click on that, then you can uh, download the ISO itself, which it, as you can see is 1.121 megabytes or gigabytes 1.1 gig so very easy to get to now once you you can take a look at their website they have a lot of information they've been around for a while it goes back to July of 2011 I had never heard of them prior to about a month ago I did a review and it was a very positive review. Now they have a manual online. So you've got lots of uh, information related to the install. So you've got the option to take a look at the operating system, system manual. But there's also a, a functioning forum and as you can see it's uh, it's very well supported I mean it's it's busy it's got activity there's lots of things going on and even though it's as I said based in Germany a lot of the English language is fully supported and so and on distro watch uh, that that's where I first came across the reference to seduction and uh, I really like it I think it's one of the best Debian distributions available and now that all of the various desktop environments have been released this really something for everyone so as I said I've been running it now for over a month and uh, I'm very very happy with it um, I only have two Debian distributions on my hard drives right now one is plain Debian uh, Debian testing that I installed which is fantastic and then this one uh, which I really really like so I thought I'd bring that to your attention especially the reference to the non-free software and drivers etc that are available uh, during installation even without a Wi-Fi connection so that is it guys a little bit more information on seduction and uh, if you're looking for a new Debian distribution to try you certainly um, you certainly would be uh, it would be beneficial to give seduction a try they don't get a lot of hype or press uh, which is unfortunate because as you can see they do put a lot of work into the distribution so guys, uh, that is it. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you soon. Take care.